RTX 3060 Ti last gen killer and what is this Razer Tomahawk? Well, I'll be talking about it so don't go anywhere, this is MLM. a new game bundle for purchases on selected Ryzen 5000 series CPUs from now until 31st December 2020. Not only will you get a copy of Far Cry 6, you also get a special in-game AMD branded hat and t-shirt. Check the link in the description to redeem your code. While supplies last, so hurry! As promised, let's talk about the RTX 3060 Ti that was announced by Nvidia on December 2nd. And on top of that, we also have updates on the local pricing and stock availability. So are you guys ready? Well, the RTX 3060 Ti is actually Nvidia's latest mid-range offering and it is priced at 1,800 ringgit. It uses a slightly cut down version of the GA104 die which is also used in RTX 3070. And not only that, as compared to 3070's CUDA cores of 5,888, the 3060 Ti has a slightly lower CUDA cores at 4,864. Also, its boost clock is slightly lower at 1670 MHz. Moving on to performance, Nvidia says that the RTX 3060 Ti beats the last generation RTX 2080 Super in basically all applications. This level of performance is actually pretty crazy la, considering the price point of the RTX 3060 Ti. And since it has only been out for a week or two, let's take a look on independent benchmarks done by reviewers. According to Linus Tech Tips and Gamers Nexus benchmarks, the results are mostly the same with the 3060 Ti handling beating the 2080 Super. With performance numbers like this, Nvidia is really set to annihilate the 20 series cards one by one. First, we have the 3070 going against 2080 Ti and now we have the 3060 Ti going against 2080 Super. Can you guys even imagine when the lower end cards come out? Well, for us consumers, of course competition is a good thing. So I do hope that AMD is ready for a comeback. As for the local pricing, from what we know so far, custom AIB cards should start at around 1,100 ringgit to 2,000 ringgit. And for the higher end cards, it should be around 2,600 ringgit. But with all the other newly released graphics cards, it just means that the stock availability is pretty limited. So we have to wait a few more months. But that is okay because that just means that you boys, you men have more time to convince your wife or to come up with a lie and tell your wife it is an air purifier. I'm just kidding. You guys will have more time to save up for this card. So which one are you getting? Let me know in the comments down below. Samsung, the first company to introduce camera sensors with 0.7 micrometer pixels in 2019 is back with another game changer. Well, check this out. Damn, a 600 megapixel sensor. While larger megapixel counts are a popular trend, it is actually the size that matters. The size of camera image sensor la yo. <laughs> anyway, with a 600 megapixel sensor, this means that it can capture more details than our human eye. But to install such a big and powerful camera sensor into your phone also comes with a price. And in this case, it results in ugly, ugly and big camera bump. Jason Arena reported that a 1 slash 0.57 inch sensor would cover about 12% of the real estate on a back panel. Simply put, it would jut out at about 22 mm which is very, very ugly. Well, Samsung did amaze the market when they came out with camera sensors with 0.7 micrometer pixels last year, which their competitors all say cannot be done well. So I really can't wait to see more news on Samsung's current development on the 600 megapixel camera sensor. Also, Samsung said that this work in progress camera sensor will not only fulfill 4K and 8K video demands, it can also detect potentially life-threatening diseases and also help with quality control in industries like agriculture. Eh? Hold up, it looks like Samsung is gearing up to fight against Apple's laser detection of air quality. Well, if you watched my previous MLM, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment down below. Realme is one of the most ambitious tech companies in the world because they are not only involved in smartphones but also in other categories as well. And this year, October, they actually announced that they will be revamping their entire a lot product portfolio, which means tech plus lifestyle products. Lah. And this month, they unveiled their a lot products, but today we'll only be talking about their smart TV, okay? Because I've been doing a lot of research on it since I'm buying myself a new smart TV. So what is up? Realme's new smart TV comes in two sizes, big and small. The 
bigger one has a 43-inch full HD display while the smaller one features a 32-inch HD display. Hmm, both feature 400 nits brightness, HDR10 and support HLG format, as well as different display modes for different usage like gaming and movies. As both come with a 179 degrees viewing angle, you can enjoy a movie from any angle comfortably. If you wonder how the audio is like, both have quad stereo speakers supported by Dolby Audio Sound System. But tune, I can get myself this TV and also a PS5 <clears throat> second generation and the Cyberpunk 2077 game. Then I can immerse myself in a damn tune gaming experience. I like. The 32 inch variant costs 899 ringgit, while the bigger one, 43 inch, costs 1499 ringgit. If you're interested in getting yourself one, be sure to keep an eye out on their official store on Shopee because they'll be releasing a lot more other a lot products on 12 12. Shopping day. The long awaited action adventure open world game Cyberpunk 2077 has been in the news for quite some time. Actually, no, a long, long time. And now now he has finally arrived! Set in the dystopian night city, you will be playing as V, a mercenary outlaw taking down people in the city to gain street credits. With street credits, you can upgrade your weapons, buy cars or bikes, and outrageous clothes. You can customize your character's hairstyle, clothing, body type, gender, skills, and play style. As the game progresses, you can purchase enhancements that will add new abilities and improve existing ones to turn you into a living weapon. The ultimate goal of the game is to actually go after a prototype chip that is the key to immortality. Wow, immortality was so good. Well, you think very easy to get out. Of course not. You have to fight against corporate leaders, gangsters, and all the most feared people in the city in order to get what can make you live forever, lah, okay? And also in between, as you make different different kind of choices, it will affect how the story unfolds. Apart from story missions, you can enjoy set missions, activities, and gang skirmishes too to keep yourself busy for hours. Here, you can see the recommended configurations for 1080p low, 1080p high, 1440p ultra, and 4K ultra settings as well as ray tracing setups. And if you plan to stream this game, remember to turn on streamer mode so that it will disable certain songs in a game to avoid copyright issue. The game is available on many, many platforms, so think no more. I am getting the PS5 next year and I am also getting this game. How about you? Sometime last week, Milian announced on his page revealing that something juicy is coming and it starts with the letter T. Well, juicy T dies? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, you guys probably already know, okay? It is the Razor Tomahawk. But is it really that powerful to deserve the name Tomahawk? Well, here's what we know. Number one, Razer wants to produce a compact PC to encourage people, especially gamers, to learn to build their own PC. The case design is simple and straightforward with two PCIe slots, one for GPU, another one for an Intel and UC element board that contains the CPU, RAM, storage, and all the other parts that you need to build a PC. Da. Number two, the chassis is 10 liter big, which means you have more options when it comes to your GPU, you have better cooling and also better storage if you live in a small apartment. But you know what? You can also build your PC onto the wall, okay? I've seen a lot of people done that. That also promises a lot of cooling and a lot of storage space. Number three, the Razer Tomahawk is available in two prices. The cheaper one costs 2,399 USD and doesn't include a GPU. Huh? It has a PCIe 16 slot for you to insert your own GPU. The more expensive one costs 3,199 USD with an RTX 3080 Founders Edition card. Uh, okay, for more specs, look here. The only thing I fancy about this case is that you do not need any equipment to assemble the parts. Just like Lego, you just need to push and pull. I mean press and pull to put in the parts and to take out the parts. To be honest, if you want to start building your own PC, why not contact us? We can help you look for the parts and we can build it together. I just don't understand why pay $2,399 dollars on the PC just to kickstart your PC building journey but huh no GPU one eh ah, it's comments time let's go Raymond Luman Hong next year iPhone come with no lighting port wall I don't know lah they are becoming more and more minimalistic until they don't want that also I really don't know what to say but anyway recently I've been checking out other phones especially Android I don't know why but I suddenly feel like getting a foldable phone so I really want to get it and then I realized Shit, I'm, I'm stuck in the Apple ecosystem. If I really want to migrate to Android, I'm gonna spend a lot of money. So, 
respond to that thought first, Michelle. I need money for my new smart TV. <laughs> Thick Dini. Samsung better retain Note as their mid-range phone. Oh, I'm a fan of it until Note 5 because the S Pen allowed me to do my work on the fly. After that, the pricing is just way too high and I have to use my Note 5 until it broke down. Oh man, what phone are you using now? You're still using a Note 5 or you already changed phone? Let me know, okay? Joshua Basco. I think Samsung is gonna make the book series, huh? Book series? Oh, the foldable phone, right? Well, I think so too because you see youngsters these days, they don't like to read books. So the closest thing to a book is a foldable phone. <laughs> Older GPU price is still high. I want to buy 2070 for $250. Hey, why not check out the new NVIDIA graphics card? Suhara Krisato. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen your name in so long. Ha 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 ha! I'm wishing for Ryzen 7. I need more core to stream. With my Ryzen 5 3600, it kind of delayed my stream now since I stream on 1080p. Uh, what I can say is, have you checked out the all new NVIDIA 3060 Ti card? It is only 1800 ringgit, ma. Amiru Hakim. I watched this because you look pretty, Lamal. The information later at Google. How would you know what I talked about if you don't even listen to what I talk about, leh? How would you know and then go Google later, leh? How? Okay, too many QQQ comments already. I'm just gonna skip because I need to go play my game already. So I'll see you guys in the next MLM. Bye!